Hey everybody, Jake here with Trend Spider, and in today's video, we're gonna go over some new scans that Ben, aka Pattern Profits on Twitter, has uh, come up with and is sharing with the community. And I really want to thank you, Ben, for joining and sharing on your experience with Trend Spider so far, and and how you've uh, really utilized the scanner at, at this point. Great, Jake. Thank you for having me. Um, it's always a pleasure to be with you guys. Um, I've been trying to develop a more automated screening uh, for my uh, watch list. You know, I've started sharing my, my watch list with, with other TrendSpider users. And then I'm able to take stocks that I've already researched, that I'm comfortable with, that I'm very familiar with how they trade. I'm able to, to scan that with, the, with these new screens I've come up with and just generate ideas continuously. Um, and it's something that uh, has made my process a lot easier. Um, I don't have to, you know, let's, let's say the market's really hot and I'm maybe underinvested. Um, it, it's got so many ideas that are just coming at me regularly. Um, it makes it so much easier uh, for me to find those, those opportunities. Um, the first one I want to discuss with you guys is a, is a simple um, 10 MA pullback, which is the, the simple 10-day um, moving average. This is a very common um, trade for swing traders. And what I have up here is I have Square. This is a daily chart of Square. And you can see this is with the 10-day moving average, how we get a pop, uh, then a, a, a gentle pullback, volume eases, Back into the 10 day, pops again, another pullback, same pattern. And these things, you know, trend for quite some time. So what I wanted to develop was a screen that would pick up these pullbacks to the 10 day moving average and highlight them for me. Um, so I, I programmed that in that, that when we tag that 10 day moving average and when it comes in on easing volume, uh, it's going to print that one up for me and, and put it right in front of me um, when I run these screens. You run them intraday. I can run them at the end of the day. I can run them the following morning. Um, and it's going to highlight those names that, that are fitting this, this pattern and profile. Um, so let me, let me show you a couple more examples. Like this is square. Um, and this, you can see a much longer uh, trend. And there were multiple opportunities. The other thing I like about this is, you know, as a, as a position trader, we often trade around a core position. So this is opportunity after opportunity. If I love square as a position and I'm in it for the longer term, this gives me a bunch of opportunities to jump in, um, take a little off when it gets extended, put a little bit back on when it comes in and it is highlighted at the, the test of the 10 day moving average. Love it. So here's one that was highlighted today. This is, um, this is team and it's consolidating here. So if you look, you know, bigger picture, we've got this consolidation going on, but this is exactly the type of candle and type of pullback that I wanna, I wanna you know, get highlighted to. This, this little hammer going here off of the 10 day, it's had a nice little run. This is really the first pullback uh, you know, we've seen off of the bottom here. And what, what I like about this is now you can, you'll have confluence here a lot of times as this comes in, maybe it dips a little bit lower. You've got your uh, volume shelf just below. You, you probably wanna put a, you know, a, a horizontal support line above uh, cause that's gonna act like resistance. And then we get that breakout through that's kind of, um, you know, something to look forward to as well, something like that. But this gives you an early entry with, with limited risk and you get that breakout, you're already on board. You are highlighted, you know, back here. So let's see another one here. Starbucks, same thing. This is one that the scan picked up today a little gentle pullback. It's had a nice little rally and run. If you're a swing trader, catch you know some of this move on the way up, gets a little extended, 
gently comes back into the 10 day moving average. Ideally, off we go. Um, Beautiful. The other thing I did was created this as kind of a template. So let's say a trader prefers the eight day exponential moving average or the, the 20 day moving average. You can just copy the, the scan, go in. It's very easy to change whatever your preferred moving average is. Um, and then you can, you can save it as your own. Um, you can scan the market, you can scan the S&P 500, or you can scan your individual uh, watch list. And do you, so do you just have that as a template um, in the scan and you just kind of go up and, and open the scanner and immediately you, you, it's just kind of right there in your template? Yes, um, basically just hit in scan, scroll down. It's gonna be under pattern profits. We're gonna talk about these other ones, um, but it's there. I just hit it, hit scan and, and away it goes. These are some from ta uh, Starbucks. Um, that was the one I was just pointing to, but it's, it's really that easy. There's Coke, same thing. Little doji candle at the, right at the 10 day. Um, and what I love, what I what love one. about what you, what you said about this is that it can be customized. You know, everybody has their own style. Like you said, some people may use an EMA versus an SMA, or someone may use a slightly different input in their moving average. So, um, you know, just a reminder, everybody, this is something that you can make your own. Um, but Ben's kind of created the baseline and then you can go in and really make it, uh, make it your own. Exactly. And that leads us to maybe if you're not a swing trader, maybe you're more of a position trader. So I went ahead and put one in, going back to the square example again, this is the type of thing that a position trader looks for is a, a pullback. This is a weekly chart now. And we look for that pullback to the, the weekly um, 10 AMA, that's a known area for institutional support. So this one would have been flagged here. And this is, you can see, it's had a nice bounce. Um, so longer term traders, position traders, even longer term investors, you know, longer term investors, a lot of times like the um, 40 week moving average, which is the same as the, the 200 day moving average. So you could easily go in and change on the, on the weekly chart the 10 to 40, and now you've got the 40 week moving average and the deeper pullbacks that the longer term investors like, you're gonna get highlighted. It's gonna, it's gonna put them right in front of you. Love it, so, love it. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a great start. It's a great template, easily you know, customizable for, for your time frame. So, so this is and so this is the the ten SMA, um, yes, and then this is the and ten then, SMA pullback, and there's a weekly ten SMA pullback. And you know, just for for those that are kind of looking at the psychology or not the psychology, but kind of the math behind this, essentially the ten SMA is looking back two weeks. Yes. A lot of people, a lot of people in the market are like, oh well, you know, the fourteen day or the yeah you know, the. Well, the there's seven days in a week, but there's only five trading <laughs> days in a week. And it always, you know, it always is funny, even with the RSI, right? You've got like the, uh, the 14 day RSI as a default a lot of the time. And you think about the math behind it and you're like, this is technically two weeks and four trading days. Like it makes no sense. So, um, right. the 10 day m makes a lot of sense when you're looking at, at this particular example. Exactly. Exactly. You've got a two week period, 10 sessions. So what I've also, and I've discussed this, this one a lot on, on FinTwit, it's a little bit more complicated than the um, simple 10-day uh, pullback, but I've created a um, power of three. Those of you who follow me on, on, on FinTwit, you'll be, it probably sounds familiar to you, but, but what I've created was a scan to pick up when a stock consolidates, you see this consolidation period here, usually you get a nice run and then the stock consolidates. Mm -hmm. A lot of times these moving averages, you see here as it, as it consolidates, they get all mixed. The 10 is below the 21, it's trending down. 
the 50 day goes flat, the 21 EMA is also tending down. But what, what tends to happen as it gets ready to come up the right side is you'll get these falling in line. First, they'll, they'll get in real tight. And you see how right here they're, they're, they're tightening up as we've got a, a gentle pullback here where the 50 day was resistance. You get this pullback and then you get the big pop. And that big pop is usually associated with good volume. And that's kind of your, your cue that, okay, the stock's probably getting ready to form the right side of this base now. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes what I look for, and you know, we'll draw a descending trend line in here and see the break, but a way to highlight these, that they're ready to kind of take off and, and climb up the right side. I developed a, a scan based on that, what we call power of three, where the, the 10 day moving average, the 21 EMA, which is the ex uh, moving average, and then the 50 day moving average come into alignment. So when this candle right here prints and we get that price pop, this should, what I've written it to do is highlight this move. And as soon as that 10 day starts to move up, it, it becomes trend, what we call trend alignment, where the 10 day moving average, the 21 day EMA and the 50 day, they're now in order. You know, the 10 is above the 21, which is above the 50. And this is what typically happens. You get a really nice run um, out of this base. So you've got 10, the 10 MA here, you can see acted as support quite a few times. You had this big run, the stock basically went from, you know, low 20s uh, to, to high 60s and um, even, even briefly over 70. And now it's kind of pulled back again, creating another base. And here we're starting to set up again, another power of three move. So what I wanna do is when, when we get that pop and almost had it uh, yesterday, but what should happen is that next pop, these will fall into alignment and this will pop up under the power of three uh, screen and alert you to it. Makes sense. It is on track. I'll show you one more. And so when you're, when you're doing these scans, are you scanning um, stocks that you're familiar with or just a broad index or? Well, for me, I'm scanning my watch list, which is about 80 names right now. Um, so I'm, I'm very specific. I mean, I'm trading stocks that I'm very familiar with. I've been in and out of a lot of them. Also, I have a core position in. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times these are giving me opportunities to, to trade around that core position. Um, here's another one, this Celsius holdings that I, I have actually a core position in. Um, but it's another one that's setting up just like that. You can see how tight, you know, those moving averages got. And, you yep. know, we talk about it all the time. We love confluence. So if you can throw on an anchored VWAP, a volume shelf, volume point of control, you know, we have confluence here. We always like that. Um, so it's that another one that, you know, setting up, same thing. Get the alert here that, okay, price has moved above the 10 day moving average. Now they're starting to fall in line again, 10 day, 21 day, 50 day. Now what we want to see is that, that next trend. Beautiful, man. That is a, that, that is definitely setting up nicely. A massive volume shelf there. Yes. And we always like to combine that with these other indicators. The more things you can get pointing, you know, pointing to the, to the same thing, your, you know, your success rate is much, much higher when you have that confluence. Very, uh, very cool to see. Are these something that you, uh, kind of use on a daily basis? Do you do this once a week or? I run it every day. It's something okay. that um, I want to be aware of. And, you know, many days because my list is so small, uh, you know, 60 to 80 stocks, usually a lot of times I'm not going to have anything that's set up, right? Especially when we have a really hot market that's trending, you're not going to see a lot of these setups. Um, mm -hmm. But for somebody who was, you know, having some success with this. And, you know, a lot of times 
if the NASDAQ or the S&P is set up like this, there's going to be a hundred <laughs> to choose from. You know, mm-hmm. if you scan the S&P 500 or if you sta- scan the NASDAQ composite. Um, so a lot of times it depends on what the general market is doing uh, for what the you know, results may be. Um, but it, it also gives me a good indication. Like, let's say if I have been screening them regularly and I'm not coming up with a lot of ideas, sometimes I tell, OK, the market's a little extended here or maybe the market's not real healthy here. Um, Mm -hmm. whereas when I'm getting these ideas regularly and it's, you know, spitting them out at me regularly, um, I know we're in a real healthy trending market and the ideas are nonstop. So, you know, you can use it many ways, but it's something that I definitely try to look at, you know, regularly so that I'm, I'm staying in tune with, with the market and my, you know, specific watch list. Fantastic. Well, uh, these are a ton of different scans. Uh, well, not a ton, but enough scans that can really keep you busy. And that's the thing a lot of people forget is, you know, they, they, they think that they've got to have a million different things they're looking at on the chart and, you know, all this other stuff. And honestly, a lot of the time, less is more. But when you do see a lot of different things on the chart, you're able to, you're able to see what all of these different market participants are seeing, not just what you're yeah. seeing. And so that is a, that is a perk. Of, of, exactly. Of having and a lot more- of times it's, it's about idea generation. It's, you know, um, it's, it's so hard to follow the whole market. It's impossible. There's just too, you know, too many, many stocks to follow to, to keep track of everything uh, anymore. So when you can have the software watch for you and highlight the things that you're looking for and it kind of tells you, Hey, look over here. Hey, look at this. This is setting up and then set alerts for it on top of it. Um, yeah, it makes it so much easier and saves tremendous amount of time. Absolutely. Now this is looking like you're using more of the anchored view app side of things than yes. the, the moving averages. Yes. This is another one that's going to be in there under view app pinch. We've discussed this one before. Um, but now you've got, you guys have it in there, um, programmed in. So I wanted to run through it again, but this kind of pinch setup, and it, it's turned out to be one of my absolute favorites because it offers one stock with so many setups because you have, you know, resistance off of that anchored VWAP off the high, but you have support off the anchored VWAP off the low. Mm-hmm. So if you have a core position from back here, great. But if you don't, the swing traders can buy support and sell resistance. You can do that multiple times as you see this offered up, you know, multiple opportunities. And then eventually you get this breakout. And this one, you know, market pull came in today, but it, it is pretty amazing how that became support. This was your resistance multiple times before. Over the last few days, it's come back in. It's, it's acted as support now. And ideally, the market firms up over the next two, couple of days and, and off we go, you know, trending again. But um, this pattern offers so many um, opportunities. So you could really just have your eyes focused on one stock or maybe a handful and have opportunity, you know, both directions. If you're even, I've talked to some option traders that are using this and they're profiting in both directions because of the, mm-hmm. how accurate um, it is as far as support and resistance goes. The scan is really focusing on kind of the swing high, swing low anchored VWAP uh, approach. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I've got it set up where it's the, the, the recent high and the recent low. And then okay. if, if it's, if price is trading in between those, it's going to, it's going to tell you, it's going to spit it out on the scan. Now I did put some parameters in where I didn't have any, I didn't want anything trading below the 200 day moving average because you don't really want to go long below that. But again, it's customizable. If you wanted to set it up to where it's year to date or the IPO um, anchored VWAP, you, you know, it's, it's all customizable. So if you, t- I had to tinker with it a little bit to find exactly uh, how I wanted it and what worked best for me. So maybe mm-hmm. for another more experienced trader, 
um, you know, definitely I'd say tinker with it and, and get it set up to exactly how you like it. Um, it's definitely customizable. I would say if you're not real experienced though, I've set them up pretty good. <laughs> you're going to be in good shape, you know, with the ones that it's um, throwing your way. If you just use, um, you know, the settings I have in there. Well, it's, uh, you know, that's kind of the main goal of trend spiders to make things more efficient, make things easier, um, remove emotion, allow your system to play out, allow your rules to play out. And then, and then it just becomes a process rather than an emotional roller coaster. And that's, <clears throat> that's half the battle with, uh, with trading is just the emotions. But if you have some type of process in place, some type of setup that you're used to and that you have confidence in, it's a lot easier to trade that way. So, um, thank you so much, Ben, for coming on and showing us this and, uh, everybody, um, make sure to check out these scans now available on TrendSpider. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us. And if it is a direct question for Ben at pattern profits is your Twitter handle. But if you have any other contact information, um, is that the best place to reach you? If they have any questions, that is definitely the best place to, to reach me over on FinTwit at pattern profits. Um, and I do share some of these, um, you know, watch lists that I was discussing on there as well. Beautiful. Well, uh, we look forward to more scans in the future and thank you so much again for coming on and uh, everybody have a great rest of your day and uh, have fun using these scans.